You know, I don't think I have enough fittings. Like, I was looking at them, you know, all the odd ones. I mean, this is like eight different fittings in one. Uh, these are all compression fittings, different types of bar fittings. These are all extra fittings from different builds and just different things and stuff. And then these are the most expensive ones here. Let's open these up. These are this uh, really expensive. Each one of these was about $50 a piece. So that's $100 right there in fittings. That's what you get when you go for Bits Power. Buy the best good stuff. Um, but yeah, these are real nice. But anyway, I was just kind of organizing it, trying to go through, and I was just like, you know what? I just, I, I don't know if I have enough fittings. I'm just like, I got just so much of this crap. Um, just so much. And the, the, the crazy part about it all is that I still have all of those fittings. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I mean, there's over 20 fittings in that alone. Not to mention all these little, uh, you know, plugs and stuff. So, yeah, I got a lot of fittings, man. Dang. That's crazy. You really don't realize it in, until you, uh, you don't really realize it, you know, until you, like, lay it all out. And then, on top of that, uh, this, there's another one of these. I actually have two of these out in the garage. The other one is just as filled with fittings. But, I can't go outside. Let me turn the camera. There we go. Uh, I can't go, oh, where are you going, camera? Sorry. Hey, Amen. hold on. Amateur. There we go. I can't go outside because, uh, or go out in the garage um, because it's like ridiculous out there right now. Uh, we had a blizzard. It's negative two outside. It's crazy. So, wow. Dang, man. Talk about some snow. Jeez, Christmas day, man. Christmas morning at 4 a.m. in the morning. And I am all by myself. <laughs> all by myself. Oh, well. Anyway. Hey, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Merry Christmas. I hope everybody's doing great this year. Make sure to smash that like, subscribe. Help support me on Patreon. Check us out on Facebook. Who knows? You might even see me on Instagram because we're also on Instagram. But anyway, today we're going to show y'all how to clean your CPU water block. It is a very important process to maintain your equipment. Very important. And I'm going to show you guys how to do it right after this awesome intro.
guys, real quick, um, when it comes to cleaning these plates, you cannot bend it. This plate cannot get bent in any way or any form. If it gets bent or warped in any way, it will not channel the water correctly and your block will basically be useless if this gets bent up. So if you're going to wash this or clean it, make sure you put it on an extremely flat surface and then scrub it. I only scrubbed it one time and I got about 80% of it off. Um, you can use a little bit of rubbing alcohol on this and get that to come right off. Never use rubbing alcohol on your rubber bands or any type of cleaning product because it could deteriorate and destroy the this, this gasket. So you don't want to use anything like that. It's best just to use a little bit of water and a rag and just wipe it off and be done with it. Same with your acrylic blocks. You really don't want to use any type of cleaners or anything because you don't know if that cleaner has ammonia or any other type of chemical in it that could react with the acrylic and basically cause a reaction or melt it or weaken it. So a little bit of toothpaste and a toothbrush will do you just fine. As you can see, these blocks came out almost brand new and I only did it one time. Uh, make sure though that when you're cleaning this that you run the brush. You run the brush. <clears throat> See how the bristles run this way up and down? You want to run your brush up and down that way to ensure that you get inside and clean all of those micro channels out. Once this is clean, if you look at the fins and you can see that the fins have pieces or chips or cracks in them, then the block is worthless. Just get rid of it. Because what will happen is, is those little flakes of metal will break off and get into a pump or get into another block and just cause more havoc, a lot more than what's necessary. And you really don't want a, you know, a 50 or a hundred dollar water block destroy you know a thousand dollar computer uh, heat degradation will destroy your computer faster than you overclocking it or doing anything else to it you can have a 2080 ti but if you're starving it and you're cooking it and you're not giving it sufficient airflow then your performance goes down and your frame rates and everything else goes down so it's very important to maintain your computer system and it's very important to maintain the blocks inside. I hope you guys find this video helpful. Check out my channel, subscribe, and as always, I appreciate you guys for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one.